My, my name is Miriam Odu, and I'm 27 years old. She wants to explore. She's ad something like uh, she's adventurous. At times, um, when she wants to do something, I, I, will, I will even try to discourage her, but she will have the courage to pursue. I was a kid and I had a dream that a dog bites me. Then my mom told me, I start shouting, dog has bite my, uh, my leg. Dog. The next day, I can't even stand on my feet and polarize. I, I, I found it very difficult to get even a school for her because at the normal or the, at the regular school, you know, they didn't uh, want to mingle up with people with crutches. When I was a I find life difficult, you know. And at that time, I don't want to come out. I don't want in much people. I don't want um, people to see me walking. Some people, when they see them, they admire them, they have sympathy for them. But some people too, when they see them, they just shun them. The first day, there was one young woman named Miriam Odoro uh, that came up to me and said, David, I want to be a part of this project. And I said, okay, that's great. You want to learn how to fix bikes? She said, yes. She said, David, I'm serious. I want to learn how to fix bikes. Did they? They were laughing at me and because of I bend my. So when David teach me and I started doing it, I finished my and David came and check it. He said, oh wow, you have done well. And they are sitting there, Miriam, can you help me with my room? <laughs> Miriam, can you help me with my room? I said, you are sitting there laughing at me. You want me to help you? I won't do that. <laughs> then David, David asked me, Miriam, you can help them. And I helped them. She 
is always adventurous. She wants to um, do. She wants to go beyond what everybody has. Uh, she doesn't seem to be uh, handicapped. She doesn't seem to be worried about her problem at all. It's a pretty amazing thing to have this aggressive male come with his bike and say, hey, my bike needs to be repaired. My wheel is going like this, right? And then everyone looks at it and they say, okay, we'll fix it for you. And then they take the wheel off, give it to Miriam. And the guy's expression is like, what? This woman, this disabled woman is gonna true my wheel? And what ends up happening is that she trues his wheel for him. You know, and sometimes there are men sitting there just watching as Miriam is repairing their wheel, something that they can't do themselves. And there's this female, physically disabled mechanic fixing their wheel for this person. I know that her life has changed by it. I know that she now sees herself in the world as an influential person. She sees herself as having skills that other people don't have that are valuable to her community and even to the world. She sees herself as now representing other physically disabled people who were in her position before without work and in a position now to advocate for them and you know, for recognition of the enormous amount of unemployed physically disabled people in Ghana. She's a woman working in a field that is generally dominated by men. And so she's even expanding the boundaries of women and other women who are able-bodied look up to her as an example of how women can be in the world. It makes me happy. And it helps me to achieve something. I feel proud. My name is Miriam Wood. I'm a mechanic.